Okay, you 11 methods. Um, this screencast is continuing our matrix series. Um, we've uh, looked at matrix multiplication today and hopefully you've been able to get through exercise 3C or, or uh, you're on top of that anyway with multiplying your rows and columns. Um, we're going to look now at um, firstly the identity matrix and we're going to lead into the inverse uh, matrix and um, its determinant, uh, the determinant of a matrix. Okay, so start with the, starting with the identity matrix, uh, it's a square matrix firstly, and it and it looks uh, it looks like what you see on the screen here, um, uh, a, a, a diagonal of ones from left high to right right uh, right low, zeros everywhere else. Um, identity matrix it's called. It has uh, the property that it um, it will, when multiplied by another matrix, uh, it's like multiplying by one. It's like taking a uh, it's it's the one of the of the matrix world. Just like the zero matrix is full of zeros, this is the one matrix. Uh, so you can multiply any matrix by the identity matrix, and it will remain uh, the same value. So we'll have a look at an example of that. Um, so if we just take a very simple one, two, three, four matrix. Obviously, it needs to be square. I'll multiply that by uh, one, naught, naught, one, and um, I'll just go back to that comment I made there in a sec. It has to be square because perhaps it doesn't. Um, we're going to multiply. Well, if I'm going to multiply by a two by two identity, um, then I have to be starting with a two by two in order for it to be unchanged. Uh, right, so let's see what results here. We take one by one um, and add two times zero, so that's that's one. In the next instalment, we're going to take one, two, and, and multiply across by naught one. That's uh, one times naught plus two times one. Now we're going to go to the second row. Three times one is three plus zero. Fourth, the last row, the bottom row in the right column, three times zero plus four times one. So you can see there no change, one, two, three, four, um, multiplying by the identity matrix, uh, left it as it started. Okay, um, now that was a two by two. Um, this was a, a two by two identity. Now identity matrix matrices have to be square. So uh, we, we're only gonna be multiplying by another square matrix in this case in order for us to be looking at that property where it's unchanged, the one matrix, the identity matrix. Okay, um, that leads us to this next property and that is that any matrix, it'll be a square matrix again, um, any square matrix um, uh, and in fact we're going to be more specific than that, any two by two square matrix um, multiplied by its inverse so um, an inverse is if it's any square matrix hold on a second I'm gonna just have to adjust these notes a little bit so any two by two square matrix, and we'll call it A, multiplied by its inverse, which is A minus one, will result in, so a matrix multiplied by its inverse will result in the identity matrix. Identity matrix. Okay, so what we've said there is that A times A to the minus one equals the identity matrix, a matrix multiplied by its uh, inverse is the identity matrix. Okay, um, so how do we find the inverse of a matrix? So let's get to that, finding the inverse of a matrix. Finding the inverse matrix. All right, so um, this is how it's done. Firstly, we need to uh, we need to work out the determinant of a matrix. 
So the determinant, which is um, determinant of A, which is known as debt A, is found by calculating um, AD minus BC in the matrix ABCD. So AD minus BC is the determinant of this matrix. So as an example, if we look at an example here, uh, if the matrix A is, we're looking at two by twos, three, five, one, minus two, then debt A, determinant of A, is equal to A times D. So it's AD, three times minus two, that's my A and D here. So that's three times minus two, minus BC, which is the product of this diagonal here, five times one, five times one. So it's minus six, minus five. So our determinant is minus 11 for this matrix A. Okay, so we're in the process of finding the inverse matrix. The first job is to find the determinant of A. Okay, now um, the determinant of the matrix. If if the determinant of the matrix equals zero, there is no matrix. So there is no inverse. And A is said to be singular. Singular. Okay, singular matrix is a matrix that has no inverse. Um, that's where its determinant equals zero. Um, for a, uh, a square, a matrix that is that has an inverse is a regular matrix. Um, I just almost put that in brackets, couldn't we? If if the determinant of A is not equal to zero, i.e. an inverse exists, the matrix is regular. So singular if there is no you know, these um, these terms need to be need to be known. Uh, singular if there is no uh, no inverse and we find that out by checking the determinant. If the determinant is zero, then um, it's singular. Okay, and we can't find the inverse. Okay, so we've got the determinant here. Let's go back to our matrix A, A three, five, one, minus two. So the inverse, go back to the, so the inverse of A, which is A minus one, is one over the determinant, one over debt A, and what we do with these uh, these values here, the three and the minus two switch places. So the three and the minus two switch places, and the five and the one change signs. So we go minus five and minus one there. So we go our debt A in this case is minus eleven. So we end up with minus one over eleven here. Of minus two, minus one, three, minus five. So we run that minus one over eleven through, and we end up with two elevenths, five elevenths, one eleventh, and three, or minus three elevenths there. So that is the inverse of of um, a. That's a minus one. So generally. In general terms, general terms, if A is equal to A, B, C, D, 
then a minus 1, the inverse of a, is 1 over ad minus bc, which is the determinant of a. Uh, d and a switch places, and b and c change sign. And that's how to find the, the inverse of a matrix. Um, once we're able to find the inverse of a matrix, then uh, we can do things like solve um, solve solve systems of equations, etc. So that will come up in the next section. So um, let's do one more example. Find the inverse of three minus one zero four. Uh, we'll call this B. So what we need to do is we will find debt B firstly and make sure that the inverse exists. Debt B is equal to 3 times 4 minus minus 1 times 0 and that's 12. So therefore B minus 1 is equal to 1 over 12. Remember it's 1 over AD minus BC, AD minus BC being in this case 12. Now what do we do here? We switch the 4 and the 3 around. So the 4 goes there and the 3 goes there. Change the sign of the 1, the 0 stays the same. So that's my inverse matrix. And then I just put that 1 over 12 through. So I get 4 over 12 or 1 third there. 1 over 12, 0 and 1 over 4. Okay, that's enough for this screencast. I'll, uh, I'll see you in class tomorrow. And we're good to go now with exercise uh, 3D. Okay, see ya.